With less than 24 hours until polls open, it's a tight race for the next governor of Florida. President Trump rallying for Ron DeSantis this weekend as the latest Real Clear Politics average puts progressive mayor Andrew Gillum ahead by under three points. Joining us right now with reaction on a busy campaign morning on this Monday, Ron DeSantis. Congressman, good morning to you. Morning. Thanks for joining us from Jacksonville. Good morning. You know, we've heard so much about the early vote down in Florida, and there have been so many people lined up for hours to vote early. You combine that with the absentee ballots requested. What can you tell about the party demographics about who has already voted? Well, Republicans, we've done better in that than we've ever done. I mean, when the president won Florida in 16, uh, Republicans were down significantly going into Election Day. Now, we always win Election Day, uh, but this time we were able with the absentee and early, and I don't have the final data, but we are either ahead or very close going into Election Day. And today on Monday, the panhandle still has early voting because of the storm. So you're going to have Republicans rack up some more votes today. And here's the thing. We have a lot of our super voters as Republicans will not vote early or absentee. They want to vote on Election Day. And so I think the momentum is on our side. I don't think we could have asked for a better turnout for Republicans for mail and early voting. And we know we're going to get a good turnout on Election Day. Congressman, what's your reaction to the average of all the polls? The Real Clear Politics polls have Gillum, your opponent, ahead, not by much, within the margin of error. But what's your reaction? Well, look, I mean, you know, if a poll is saying there's going to be a Democratic wave, uh, we know that's not true because Republican turnout is very strong. And so you have to look at how they're doing it. I think some of these polls say there's going to be 40 percent independence. You know, we've seen about 18 percent so far. So that's just the way it's going to, going to be. So I think Republicans are going to have an advantage in terms of turnout for the election. And I think I'm going to do well with independence. And so that's the formula for success in Florida. Okay. Uh, uh, from the outside perspective, you guys could not be more different. He wants to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. He wants starting pay for teachers at 50000 a year. He wants to expand Medicaid coverage. He also wants to up corporate taxes in the area, and he wants stricter gun controls. Do you interact and uh, do you, uh, do you uh, intersect with him at all on any of those? <laughs> No, I mean, you know, he wants a 40% tax increase. Florida's economy is humming. Uh, we have an opportunity to drive historic investment into Florida on top of what we've already done. Right. You raise taxes 40%, you're going to lose jobs, businesses are going to leave, and you're going to stop the flow of investment into Florida. It would be a historic mistake. He's also somebody, though, has always supported higher taxes. And all the spending you just mentioned, there was a nonpartisan think tank that analyzed that. They said the only way you could pay for that is to raise the sales tax to 30%. 38% right. or to impose a state income tax. You do either of those in Florida, our economy is done. Congressman, one of the things that people in Florida are really concerned about, the red tide and the green algae, the, the green goo. What would you do as governor to, to try to get rid of it? Because it's a big problem down there. No, absolutely. So we will have great appointments to the water management boards, people from the coastal communities that understand the effect this has had. We'll cut down on pollution going into Lake Okeechobee, and we will construct this reservoir south of Lake Okeechobee so that you can take the water, the polluted water, clean it, then send it south to mm. the Everglades and Florida Bay. But you've got to be able to work with the federal government. I'm going to work with the president. on. I've talked to him about it countless times. Andrew Gillum wants to impeach Trump. Well, how the heck are you going to be able to work with him to fix our water resources problems? He's not going to be able to do it. So I'm the only candidate that will be able to get that done for the people of Florida. It's a very, very important issue because the water really affects our entire foundation and our entire economy. The impact's going to be great. The candidates couldn't be more different. Do your homework. Make a choice. We ask Andrew Gillum to come on. We have not heard back. Uh, we've got to check our voicemail again. So we'll maybe tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, All Congressman. Right. Thank you.